Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in your hands we place this evening. Thank you for uh, your spirit. Thank you for uh, uh, depositing your Holy Spirit into our hearts, into our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading and guiding us uh, and opening our hearts to understand your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for uh, enabling us to practice the word that we hear and share your word with others. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> so how are you? Fine, brother. I'm just coming from a healing session in uh, Manglo. Okay. So when you yeah. called me that time, the healing session was going on. Okay, okay. Lots, okay. And lots of healings. Okay. Yes, but today, it so happened that I was in Canada ah. in the morning at 5.30 Indian time. And we were speaking and today the Lord did not give me to preach. Mm. He started with the healings and it went on and on and on. So today, the whole day has been only healing classes. Oh. Okay. So Saturday now the children are doing healing on global. Ah. <laughs> so everywhere the Lord is healing his people <laughs> by his word. Correct. Yeah, let's go back where we stopped yesterday, brother. Yeah. So tell me what, what's the news today before we go ahead. Today's uh, news uh, is good news. <laughs> In the sense, uh, it's good news. Yeah. So I think yesterday, last evening, people had an amazing uh, experience. Um, so that is the feedback. Later, a couple of people. Amazing experience of what? Of, uh, you know, being. They, many, many of them felt the, uh, you know, the tangible presence of God their lives. Okay. So I got that feedback from those who have called me and messaged me. So it's good that uh, you know you know we can experience Lord also through online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, from from March, I started Zoom from March 2020. Yeah. And uh, previously I used to preach on a software called OBS. It was one way. Uh -huh. And this and this same Zoom application, I had for more than nine or ten months lying idle. I taken it for intercession, uh -huh. so people can come and intercede. So it was hardly being used every day for say half an hour. Okay. But once I got on this platform and I saw yeah. the potential. After that, it was you know, fifteen hours, eighteen hours on Zoom. Yeah. <clears throat> It is amazing and how the... it was, and it was the peak time, brother, in Dubai. Ah. The time people were going into terrible depression. Yeah. Because there, even if you lose your job, mm. you can still stay back there. When you lose your job, the rent that you have to pay is very high. Yeah. In no time, you will be in debts if mm. anything goes wrong. Mm. So people were really panicking. At the time, I used to have. Round the clock, mm. so that they don't go into panic mode. Yeah. Mm. But Dubai is uh, recovered, you know. They are. Uh... There's there's no lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so it's been uh, it's been yesterday's thing. The session was uh, very excellent. Uh, I really liked uh, about the vision that you said. Yeah. So. That was very good. <laughs> so we'll continue from there. What was the scripture we took yesterday? The scripture we were we were in the one we were in one Peter, no? Habakkuk, Habakkuk. Brother, Habakkuk two, two. Yeah, Habakkuk two. Okay, we were on the vision. Yeah. Thanks. Imagination. Huh? Imagination. Yeah, imagination. Now yeah, imagine. Because Holy Spirit can understand your language only when you speak to Him His language. 
Yeah. So what translation I, is that? Yeah, I in fact was just uh, looking at uh, one of your sessions recently. I just downloaded it. I am meant ah. to hear that, which talks about uh, you know tongues. On tongues, okay. you spoke about the language which uh, Holy Spirit understands. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. The benefits of tongues. Yeah, I've not uh, I've not heard. I just uh, only downloaded. Uh, so. Because every day we take every day we take one benefit mm. for about half an hour or forty minutes, mm. and then we pray in tongues for thirty minutes. Yesterday I noticed one thing. I joined actually uh, the Dubai uh, Dubai. You know that uh, after our our after the happy families, you went to Dubai. Yesterday I went to Canada. No, no, evening at five thirty. Sorry, yeah, six uh, seven o'clock. Cup, yeah, couples, yeah, couples for Christ. Couples for Christ. Couples, couples for, Christ. for Christ. I noticed one thing, brother. You are like a little lamb there. You are, uh, you know, when you come here only, you are like a, a ferocious lion. Why is it like that? It depends on who who is sitting in front of me, brother. <laughs> you were like uh, so so sober. Is it what happened so, to him? So you mean, so, oh, so you mean oh. to say I'm not sober with you? I know. Yes, what happened to him? I is it uh, the same brother who spoke ten minutes back? <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, call and tell you, but be a little more, uh, you know, aggressive. Uh, okay, anyway, I will be sober with you, but you will feel bored. <laughs> no, no, no. That is the reason I felt bored a little bit. I felt yeah, because, because be see, see yeah. uh, honestly speaking, I enjoy with you because uh, you keep asking questions. Okay, yeah. and when you keep asking questions, it helps me to. Uh, understand better and explain better. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so we, I, I'm actually happy when people ask me questions. Yeah. But so, they ask me question only to uh, learn, huh? because there was sometimes you know uh, there was a person when he was in the restaurant, we were sitting and he was asking me question. So I was answering the question, and the Lord said, "He's not interested in the answer. He's interested in the next question." Hmm. So I, I said the answer and I kept quiet and I said, what did I say? Hmm. So he was clean bold because he was not interested in the answer. He only wanted to see where he could, uh, uh, you know, checkmate me. Hmm. I said, Baba, the Bible is not for argument. Hmm. Neither the Bible is that you won or I won. Hmm. God doesn't need anybody to defend his truth. Hmm. His truth will work before you came to this earth and after you go also. This truth will work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't depend on you whether you believe then the Bible is true. Mm -hmm. Whether you believe it or not, the Bible has always been true and it will remain always true. Yeah. Yeah. So God doesn't need any defender. Yeah. Pramila wanted to Pramila wanted to ask a question, uh, something related to what uh, we said, uh, discussed the Pramila. Uh, yes, brother, I, I just uh, comment that uh, we thoroughly enjoy the equation we can listen have. On a light note, it reminds me of Munna Bhai Arkit. <laughs> what? I don't know your movie. It's Munna Bhai MBBS and Circuit. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's like a very uh, the live equation and very funny. So Munna Bhai is Joe's, right? <laughs> somebody, somebody said Laurel and Hardy. See, see, brother, brother, the joy is the joy is what I find with you is we have become so close, even though we did not know much. Okay. Yeah. And the closeness is what? That we both enjoy the moment. Believe me, I enjoy that one and a half hour with you. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 the, at the end of the day, what is beautiful, you know, that both of us are still walking in love, and still serving the Lord in love, yeah. and there's uh, there's nothing called as competition. Yeah, it 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 is just that we have become a more like a family brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you if you want me to be serious, I can become serious. I will not, not even smile and I'll get... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't suit you. 
Yeah, we also thank God for having Joe's there <laughs> as your partner. Yes, because he's See, really, everybody's he's, enjoying. He's you. really, yeah, because his questions are really very apt, very appropriate, yeah, especially for those who know very little about our faith. I'm sure they have learned much more because of him. Otherwise, nobody would have asked those questions. Yeah, somebody said Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Yeah. Now, now, now tell me one thing with all this saying. Yeah. Aren't we both enjoying it? Yes, yes, I am enjoying. I like to laugh at myself, brother. That is the gift that God has blessed me with. So I always laugh at myself. So it does not hurt anyone. So I have been doing that for many years. I think that is uh, that has that has you know saved me from many uh, situations actually. You know, you know, brother. If a person. Yeah. refuses to get offended mm. that person cannot be defeated yeah. one of the devil's fast ball is to get a person into offense yeah. and when a person gets into offense now nothing of the kingdom of God will work in his life because he has got connected with demonic powers Yeah. can I show you <laughs> yeah. yeah see all these scriptures helps you so that you know even if the thought comes that I want to get uh, irritated or hurt, mm. at once the Lord will say, don't go that side. You will get caught up with demons. Let me show you how yeah. many people, how many people are completely destroyed because of small sparks of bitterness. Mm. Give me James chapter 3, 13. Now Habakkuk is talking about making visions. This yeah. is how you make visions. Let me show you how to make visions. Now, now there are people who say, I, I want to see vision. One is you see vision. Mm. Two, you make visions. Yeah. Okay. James 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Uh. Yeah. Who is wise and understanding among you. My brother Jos. <laughs> you asked me the question, I give you the answer. Yeah. Show by your good life that your works are done with the gentleness born of wisdom. So how do you show that you are a wise person? Mm. Not only your good life, your works, but very important, gentleness, born of wisdom. Hmm. So the wise according to the world and the wise according to God has got a big difference. According to God, a wise person is a person who hears the word and does what the word says. Hmm. And God calls the man foolish when he listens to the wisdom of the world and does things according to the wisdom of the world. God calls him foolish. The reason is, on the day the battle begins, the wise man, is his house is standing strong because he has built his house on the rock because he is a doer of the word. Whereas the person who is smart according to the world but not a doer of the word, his house will fall in no time. Yeah. That, that, that is why, that is why, when the trial begins, the, the, the question is, which way are you going to respond? Mm -hmm. See, many, many a times you hear these people saying, you know, my life got destroyed because of so and so person. Yeah. You heard that? Yes. From the time I got married to this fellow, <laughs> I am in ruins. Mm. Never heard that? Yes, yes. So, is it, is it because of that? No. Because if that was so, that if somebody can rule over my life and, and destroy my life, then Jesus should have been the first loser. Mm. Because in Jesus' life, mm. in Jesus' life, mm. okay, mm. he went through terrible times. Mm. But what they did did not affect him because mm. in the kingdom of heaven, mm. it is always whatever anybody did mm. does not decide the victory. 
time and you start getting angry. What decides the victory is how did you respond truly in the after that? that hmm. You don't actually get that long either. Do one thing, just mute all, then everything will stop. Yeah. So it's all very different. But You have to unmute. Yeah. Now you started muting. The person insisted on muting, unmuting. Now he cannot unmute. In the same way in a life, okay, God has given us instructions. Mm. He has given us his system. Okay. When you follow the system, mm. your response is going to decide whether you win or not. Mm. The day you realize that not because somebody did something to you means you are a victim. No, no, no. A person can do extremely bad, bad, bad and extremely bad things to you. Mm. That doesn't mean your life is going to be destroyed. No, no way. Your life gets destroyed by the way you respond. You respond wrongly, you get into the wrong side. Yeah. You respond with the right thinking, you get into the right side. Praise God. Praise God. Today we got a beautiful visitor. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now what happens? He cannot unmute. He cannot put his video. He can do nothing. Oh, no, I don't feel like going to bed now. Why? No, we're just... <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, as I told you, what we are learning, we are learning practical. Yeah. Can we just say a small prayer? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you. You are the God of love. And you created us for love. And if you want that everyone comes to the knowledge of you. Father, in a very special way, we pray for a special brother who has come and his spirit is longing for our prayers. And we love our brother, Father. Thank you that this brother of ours, you have brought him to this platform on a purpose and we all lay our hands on our precious brother and we speak life in his life that you came to give. Lord Jesus, you came to give life, life in abundance and we speak life in abundance in his life. Thank you, Father, that the thief who has come to steal, kill and destroy has been cast out of his life permanently, never to come back again. And thank you, Father God, for blessing our precious brother, blessing his family, blessing his generation, blessing his future, keeping him in good health every moment, O oh Lord. Your angels protecting him, you prospering him, setting him free from all hurts, all wounds, and healing him, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you a great vision of our precious brother, O Lord, that he is a powerful evangelist, a mighty man of God, washed in your precious blood, and set free from every captivity, from every sin, from everything that does not belong to your kingdom of God. Lord, as you said, let there be light, and there was light. We, the children of God, speak light to shine in our precious brother's life. And thank you that light is shining like a noonday in his life. And he is a blessing to generations. Thank you and praise you for taking care of his and meeting all his needs according to your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father for transforming his life and making his life so very fruitful. Thank you for the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And we declare 
by faith, our precious brother's life will never, ever be the same again. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 So, he's saying, show your good life by your works. Mm. How do you know that your works are good? Mm. That you are a good person by your works. But when you're doing your works, see that you do it with gentleness mm. and born of the wisdom of God. Mm. Not with some irritating wisdom. Mm. And then he says, look at verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Now, how much does it take to become bitter? What is, what is that? What? How much does it take for you to get into bitterness? Oh, for everybody, that's for everybody, the level is the level is different. Hmm. Okay. But it can take. Uh, it it need not be. Uh, you know, not need not take time for a lot of people. Yeah. So what I'm saying now, now, for example, somebody would have got bitter by now. Yeah. Correct. I I invite people who come to my class like this. Mm. I, I enjoy. Mm. Why? Mm. Because the only problem is the person has been created in the likeness and image of God. Mm. Only thing his spiritual eyes have not opened up. Mm. The once upon a time, I was also the same or much even worse than that. Mm. So when the Lord opened my eyes mm. and then I began to see the life that I'm living and the life that God has called me or the life that God has planned for me and purpose for me is so different. So I discovered it. So when I discovered it, I began to realize mm. that this bitterness is coming only because my thinking is wrong. Mm. I'm not an evil man. Mm. My thinking is wrong. And my thinking is wrong because I've been taught wrong. Mm. So if I can teach myself right, mm. there's no question of bitterness. Yeah. If I am all the time thinking on Jesus' teaching, no mm. way I can get offended. Yeah. So when I look at Jesus, the way he went through, and he was uh, so very uh, joyful, to even go to the cross as a substitute for me yeah. to fulfill his father's will. So now my top priority is also the same. I want to fulfill the father's will. Yeah. So I refuse. I refuse to respond the yeah. carnal way. I choose to respond God's way. Yeah. Because the yeah. choices are mine. Mm. If you are hurting me, that doesn't mean I hurt you. My choice. Mm. It's my decision. Yes. So it's my decision to love you anyway. Mm. So if I'm making a decision to love you and not get offended with your action, you can never defeat me. Mm. And that's what happened to Jesus on the cross. Yeah. Everybody tried their best to get him into offense. In fact, he opened his mouth and gave the devil right one knockout shot when he said, Father, Please forgive these people. They do not know what they are doing. Mm. Now, that is extreme love to a person who is, who is coming against you, who is hurting you, who is irritating you, who is causing pain to the point of death. It's, it's Stephen, so also, Stephen also used the same verse, right? Stephen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and brother, when you face a trial, mm. and let's say you are an angry person, Use the same line yeah. because it's a seed. The kingdom of God works on a seed. So when you say, Father, actually speaking, in my emotions, I'm boiling yeah. and I don't know what to do. Yeah. But just as Jesus said on the cross, yeah. Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Lord, please forgive me first yeah. because there are many times I do not know what I'm doing. Mm. And with the forgiveness I've received and the love that I've received, I choose to forgive the others, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Now, when I spoke these words, brother, mm. I've spoken the words, but my mind is boiling. Mm. Correct? Yeah. Now, when yeah. I'm speaking those words, remember, mm. God's word is alive and active. Mm. 
God's word is powerful. Yeah. God's word is energetic, effective, and uh, operative. Mm. So when you keep on saying these same words over and over again, mm. faith comes by hearing yeah. and hearing by the word of God. Mm. As faith begins to grow in this area, mm. you begin to realize that thoughts which are spiritual, which were captivating your mind, has been captivated by the word of God. Oh. The only way you can fight thoughts is by opening your mouth and speaking God's word. You can never, ever win a battle fighting thoughts with thoughts. You'll always lose. Yeah. Because faith gets activated when you open your mouth and speak. Mm. The spiritual world gets activated when you open your mouth and speak. Mm. So, Holy Spirit needs words to work. Yeah. Evil spirit needs words to work. Mm. So when you open your mouth and you start speaking, Father, I choose to forgive this person. Mm. Forgive him. For he doesn't know what he's doing. Amen. And thank you, Father, for forgiving me as well. In Jesus' name. Now you planted that seed. Now how big the seed Jesus said? Mm. A seed of a mustard seed. Mm. Now, I think it was today at Melbourne, we were talking and I said, I asked them, how many of you have seen a mustard tree? Have you seen a mustard tree? Mustard, mustard tree, I, I think I have seen, yeah. How many? Three feet, four feet? What size you saw? Yeah. Maximum? Yeah. Four feet? Four feet. You will be shocked, brother. <laughs> I... Please be careful with my questions. I'm trapping you. Mm -hmm. As, uh, Marita, if you can just go to the Google and show us a mustard tree. She'll find the picture till then. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mustard tree is just a grown-up tree, 30, 40, 50 feet, 40, 30 to 30 feet tall or 20 feet tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how big is the tree seed? So small. Yeah. Now, what you, what you just spoke, mm. those two lines, mm. is a small seed. Yeah. But that small seed can stop yeah. every fiery dart of the enemy in this area of bitterness. Mm. Brother, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. I got a mustard seed. Can I show? Or? Yeah, yeah. Please show. Okay, okay. You can show from your screen. The tree. How big yeah. it is? Yeah, it's huge. So, God, is, Jesus is saying faith potential is so big. Mm. The seed is so small. Mm. But when you apply it, the, the potential of it is so big that it mm. can destroy the mm. work of Satan in no time. Mm. Yeah. So, so, when a person is of a bitterness, okay, he gets offended quickly. Mm. He takes this seed, takes a rosary mm. and on the rosary beads every day says this prayer, I thank you Lord Jesus for helping me to forgive everyone who comes against me and thank you for your grace that Lord forgive everyone mm. who comes against me because they do not know what they are doing and mm. I choose to forgive them and love them in Jesus name. Mm. Every bead is saying those words Mm. Now, when you are using the word of God and speaking it out of your mouth, in the spiritual realm, there is a big, big war zone taking place. Because you see, every time Jesus healed somebody, he used words. Yeah. Every time he, he delivered somebody, he used words. Yeah. You don't find anywhere any healing or miracle taking place without Jesus speaking words. Mm. So, when you are not opening your mouth and, and keeping your mouth shut and your mind is full of irritation, mm. offense, anger, bitterness, envy, jealousy, remember, you have opened the door for demons to have a hold over your life. Mm. It is powerfully demonic activity taking place. Mm. 
It's just like at the airport, the aircraft is coming from a distance, calling up the traffic control and saying, I need permission to land. Oh. The traffic controller gives permission to land. Now, once the flight is landed, yeah. and let's say from inside comes soldiers or whatever, they can attack. Yeah. But as long as the traffic controller is not giving the permission to land, the flight cannot land. In the same way, when bitterness and offense is coming against you and you respond with bitterness, you have given the aircraft to land on your mind and you are now your mind is getting encroached by demonic activity. Yeah. A person might be very, very good, mm. extremely good, doesn't harm anybody. But when opposition comes against him unjustly, mm. he responds with hurt. Doesn't give back, mm. but takes the hurt mm. and bitterness. Mm. The person says, I did not harm him, but I took the bitterness on me. Now, God never created us for that purpose. Jesus said, I care for you and therefore you take all your cares and cast it to me because you are not created to carry hurts. You are created to only operate in love. Yeah. So your whole system is for love and when you don't operate on love but you operate on bitterness and hurt, mm. your whole system starts get short-circuited mm. in no time, in no time. Your mind which is now corrupted with carnal thinking, will talk to the brain mm. to malfunction. Mm. So your brain, which controls the whole system, has now got orders mm. to operate in the wrong way. Mm. And now that brain will start bringing sickness mm. and disease mm. in your body. Mm. And now you are in a bad shape. Yeah. So, when a person is putting pressure on me, the good news is that warfare will give me an opportunity to become a better person. Yep. That warfare is always surrounded with the birth of a miracle. Mm. Big miracles are not in comfort zone. Big miracles are hidden in a war zone. Mm. If you want to grow, okay, and you are min and you are walking the path of righteousness that God has given you, and you are meditating on the word, don't get surprised. The enemy has to show up. Yeah. Because when you walk in the light, the enemy who was hiding is exposed in the gospel light. Yeah. And he shows up and he starts doing things unjustly to you. When that happens, you get excited because now you're saying, the moment I cut the head of Goliath, mm. Lord, my promotion is very big. Mm. But I cannot cut the head of Goliath using the tools of hell. I have to use the tools of heaven. Mm. And that tools of heaven is love and forgiveness. Mm. The whole system mm. in the kingdom of God works on the system called love. Mm. You backfire on love, you have lost the battle even before you start the battle. Yeah. So your love fuse, up to what pressure can it take that the fuse doesn't get blown off? Yeah. If you don't allow the fuse to get blown off and you continue to walk in love, mm -hmm. brother, now comes, now comes the scripture. Uh -huh. What your eyes have not seen, what okay. your ears have not heard, what has not even entered your heart, those things that God has prepared for you mm. will begin to manifest in your life because now you're walking on God's purpose. Amen. Yeah, so I have uh, I have learned one thing, uh, brother, is that uh, instead of waiting for the war to start, <laughs> you preempt and you start you know, practicing these words. I mean, at least uh, from my experience, I have identified some areas which I keep, uh, you know, getting, I keep falling, you know, or I, so I have identified those areas and I use 1 Corinthians 3.16. That is very effective for me. And at least a few people whom I have shared, they also have seen amazing results. So what I would... Because it's a seed. 
yeah so i would encourage uh, what i encourage people is to you know to keep uh, repeating these words uh, when 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 on a, on a you know when there is no war so that when the war comes in it is easy otherwise what i have seen is that uh, even in my own life uh, you don't remember when the war comes if you start you know start from scratch you know class 1 you don't remember uh, to take all this uh, ammunitions uh, you know so you will you will actually give up so this is a good practice uh, which if we can if we can really uh, practice when when there, there is no war so that when the war comes in you are uh, more uh, stronger because of of late uh, i see it uh, being very effective my uh, temperance levels have really you know uh, parameters uh, are changed yeah parameters are really changed uh, and uh, it is working out very well you know in many every area because this one verse you know my body is a temple of god holy spirit and god spirit is dwelling in me is uh, has changed my life <laughs> that has absolutely changed my life that uh, is uh, i i feel uh, you know is the word which is my lifeline please god so so come back marita can just put that uh, scriptures baba okay now now look at look at the 15th verse baba yeah such wisdom does not come down from above but is earthly unspiritual and devilish just give me the ampc start with 14 brother but if you have bitter jealousy envy and contention rivalry self ambition in your hearts do not pride yourself on it and thus be in defense of and false to the truth so when we have any of those things in our list mm. you might be saying you are on the right path but you are being deceived it's demonic activity activated to destroy you mm. so don't fall into the trap it's the snare of the devil and then he says in 15 this superficial wisdom is not such as come down from above but is earthly unspiritual or it says animal even devilish demonical so tell me a person who gets offended for small small things but is very uh, full day praying hmm. do you think that person is actively connected to god or actively connected to the demons is definitely not actively connected to god so whenever you are taking a decision mm. okay mm. and you, at that time you are bitter and envy and you are taking a decision mm. remember it's very dangerous to take decisions when you are bitter and angry because at that time you are listening and you are hearing the voice of the stranger you can't hear the voice of the good shepherd mm. if you are offended but in the midst of that war if you are operating in love and forgiveness you can hear the voice of god mm. and that very war zone will open the door for big promotion big rewards in your life mm. think about it yeah yeah and look at the 16th verse for wherever there is jealousy it's envy and contention rivalry and self ambition there will be also confusion there will also be confusion unrest this harmony rebellion and all sorts of evil and wild practice so let's say you and i are doing ministry work mm. and for some reason we both went into offense mm. both are offended mm. 
Now, have we allowed demonic activity to take place in our ministry? Yes. Yes. So, does your title that you are the head of the happy family? I am the head of the JCLN. Mm. Now, just because I am head, does it cover? No. So, are the heads in demonic activity? Yes. So, if the heads are already in demonic activity, what kind of solution will come out? What kind of planning will come out? What yeah. kind of decisions will come out? What kind of visions will come out? Yeah. What kind of work will come out? So, if the devil wants to destroy a ministry, all he has to do is use somebody for no reason to come and cause some bitterness in your life. But that's enough. He has already destroyed your ministry completely. He has destroyed everything that God had planned and purposed in your life. My friend, it's over. Yeah. So while so we... It, okay, go ahead. Yeah. While we say this, uh, isn't it uh, the Holy Spirit's, uh, Holy Spirit's grace that we operate in Hey, sometimes how does, uh, okay some, how does how does a person get grace Bhagavan? no no grace is uh, given to everybody no 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 how does he get no 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 hold on, hold ah, on. No, knowledge of the god knowledge of god ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah. okay so if your knowledge is wrong yeah thinking is wrong mm, yeah your thinking is wrong your speaking is wrong mm. your speaking is wrong your believing is wrong your believing is wrong, your faith is wrong, your decision is wrong, your action is wrong, harvest will surely be wrong. So please understand, Christian life is not a uh, luck game. Christian life is a game of skill. You quickly learn from the master his teachings yeah. and start applying them in your life. Mm -hmm. You might be rock bottom in a pit. Mm -hmm. But when you make that decision to repent and start living by his word, mm -hmm. you will build a house on the rock mm -hmm. that nothing can shake you. Yeah. So every day the battle is mm -hmm. what level did you walk in love? Mm -hmm. What level did, were you able to forgive? Mm -hmm. And how much of opposition came mm. and you still responded with love. Mm. You are a winner all the days of your life. Mm. Battles don't decide mm. whether I am a victim or a victor. Mm. I decide mm. with my decision mm. whether I choose to operate in God's word mm. or not. So the devil doesn't rule over us. Yeah. We rule yeah. over him by our response. Yeah. So once you understand the system, now you are using your imagination. Example, somebody in your office is really irritating you. Mm. or Because of him, you got a bad name mm. and you lost your job as well. Mm. Okay? Can that person get into depression? Mm. Yes. Why is the person depressed? Because his thinking is mm. of the wrong done to him and he has taken those hurts mm. and he's incubating those hurts mm. and those hurts are ruling over his life mm. and now he's going through a, a, a process of self-destruction. Yeah. Now, can that person turn it around? Yes. He can turn it around by taking Jesus' teaching and talking to himself the words of faith. Mm. Lord Jesus, mm. with the love that you have given me, mm. I choose to love this person. Mm. I choose to bless this person. Mm. I choose to forgive this person. As for my job, the company is not my source. Mm. You are my source. The company is only a channel. Yeah. So I'm stuck to you. You are my source. You supply all my needs. So I'm not, I refuse to get offended. I bless this person. I forgive this person. And thank you, Lord, that this battle has actually helped me to grow up in my 
character. Mm. Now, what did the person do? He refuses to become a victim. Yeah. He exercises faith. And remember, faith gives you victory. Mm. Give me so one this John is, 5. This, so this is the imagination, is example for imagination, what he said? Yes. Mm. Because this is something common that happens every day. So while so give me give can you give another example for 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 uh, you know for example like uh, you are uh, working on the anger you know that you're an angry man or angry woman and uh, you you know read the, the word which is uh, where the where the word says you should not get angry so how can how can you imagine how can you get into that imagination part Okay, re re read this word first and yeah. then we'll go. Yeah. So what for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is a victory that conquers the world of faith. So, so who is going to give you victory, brother? Uh, well, the, the word. So the word is going faith. to give you victory. Faith, faith. faith. Faith gives you victory. Yeah. So now, if faith gives you victory all the time, what are you going to try to operate in? Sense knowledge or faith knowledge? Faith, faith knowledge. When a person is angry, mm -hmm. is he on sense knowledge or faith knowledge? He's on sense knowledge. So any person, whoever he might be, mm -hmm. whatever his position, mm -hmm. If he is operating on sense knowledge, he will destroy his purpose on this planet Earth. Yeah. It is a system yeah. where Satan uses yeah. to destroy that person into self-destruction. Yeah. Whoever you might be, yeah. you will be destroyed. You can never win with sense knowledge. It's carnal. And God calls carnal is death. Mm. But a person who is spiritual, what is the meaning of the word spiritual? Spiritual is, my senses are talking to me and communicating to me all that negative that is going around me. Mm. But, but, the word of God is saying what to do in the midst of all this. So the person who is spiritual refuses to take the communication of his senses but communicates to God using the tool called the word of God. Mm. And when he makes this mm. as his lifestyle mm. in no time mm. he gets promotion after promotion in his life because now mm. supernatural things are manifested in his life. Mm. One of the classic examples that helped me right from the beginning is the life of Joseph. Mm. He did not have the Bible, mm. but he had a dream. Mm. So God spoke to him in a dream and told him he's going to make him a great man. Mm. For every incident in his life that he was going through, he would apply that dream. Mm. Even when his brothers sold him as a slave, he took it as a part of the dream saying, mm. this is the part of the process for me to become a great man. Mm. This is the part of the plan. And because it's the part of a plan, I refuse to get offended with what they did. I am excited with what God is doing because it's a part of his plan. Mm. Now, how many of us use Jeremiah 29.11? Yeah. That God has plans, plans for my welfare, not for my destruction. Yeah. Yeah, now, what happens when, when you are doing very well in your company and somebody comes and because of which you lost your job? Now, what happens? Are you still saying God has plans, plans for my welfare? Or are you broken now? Hmm, broken. That's the time you say, God... I don't understand your ways. Your ways are not my ways. 
your thoughts are not my thoughts. I'm all excited in the midst of all this. What is your plan on the other side of this wall? All I can see is a wall all around. I wonder what's on the other side of the wall. So Lord, instead of getting offended, I will do it your way. And when I do it your way, you will open the door. And what door you open, nobody can shut it. Yeah. Now, did you operate in faith? Yes. Yes. Now, according to this word, faith conquers the world? Yes. So is your faith now conquering all those negative thoughts? Yes. Negative emotions? Yes. yes. Now, is are you on, the, on your pathway, on your, on your journey to victory? Yeah. Why? How do you know that? Because faith always gives me victory. And what is faith? Faith is my imagination. Faith is my vision. Faith is my dream of the promises that God has given to me in Christ Jesus. So I need not do big prayers. I might be sitting on a rocking chair and imagining according to the promise of God what God has promised me. And well, opening my mouth yeah. and speaking those words and saying, Lord, this is what you said. I receive it in by faith in Jesus' name. Now, have I planted the seed? Yes. Can the seed produce the harvest? Yes. Will it be natural? Not at all. Will it be supernatural? Highly supernatural. That's why when a person goes through unjust suffering and he operates in faith, the level of promotion is beyond imagination. Joseph would have never become a prime minister if he were operating an offense. So, uh, so I am asking you this question. The day before yesterday, you gave this example of how an architect, uh, you know, uh, draws the picture of a yes. house. Yes. Now, first he imagines in his, uh, you know, in his mind, in his heart, and he ha he gets a visual, right? He sees a visual. He, he doesn't see. He makes a vision. Yeah. So he makes it. So in what I'm I'm saying that. See, even when you when if you ask me to draw something, I first see it in my no, mind. Brother, brother, there are two things, you know. Some people uh, they actually have a gift of visions hmm. where they see actually like they are seeing you. Yeah, yeah, that, that I know. I'm talking that, that about that is not... a gift of the Holy Spirit, okay? Yeah. But I've never seen a vision in my life. Uh, but I make visions using the word of God. I, I'm asking you. That only, that example only. So how do you, I'm just, uh, so my question is this, very specific. So now if you, so for, for example, you asked me to draw a picture of a bird. So I imagine a bird in my mind and then I put it on the paper. Now, when you, when you start imagining about a word of God, do you see any visual like that? How do you do that? No, that's no, no, no. I don't see any any that's vision. That's, that's what I wanted to ask you. How do you how do I, you I don't imagine? see any vision? Give, no, give, no, a, if, word, no, give a word no, and no. give an example. Very okay, now if word. I now, now for example, for me, right from the beginning, I had opposition. Hmm. And that opposition has not stopped, it's still there. Hmm. When the opposition came in the beginning, I did not understand why it's coming when I am doing what the word of God says and I broke down. Mm. When I read Matthew 5, where Jesus says, where Jesus says, I just put that, Matthew 5, verse number 11. Now see how people make a wrong vision, wrong prayer, and they get destroyed. Watch this. Blessed are you mm. when people revile you, that is insult you, persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Mm. Now, when these things happen, what will the person do? You have to go to the next line. No, next no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let us just, just stop. In the 11th uh, verse, is something practical that happens every day. Yeah. What would be the response of a person when he faces verse number 11 in the natural. Bitterness, anger. Okay. 
Right. How do they? How how do people do people call when they are going through verse number eleven in the in your in your ministry? Yeah, I'm yeah. not telling anybody's name. Yeah, brother, I'm going through all this. Yeah, now what is he saying, brother? Please pray for me. Yeah, brother, please keep me in prayer. Why? Because I'm going through all this. Now, did Jesus say keep in prayer or do verse number twelve? Hmm. Yeah. If you don't follow the instruction precise, mm. what Jesus told you to do, mm. and you're doing something else, mm. and still thinking of getting the result, mm. you will not get the result. Mm. So when he said, rejoice and be glad, mm. I said, Lord, I don't feel like. Mm. He said, Christian life is not a life of feeling. It's a life of believing. Mm. So can you believe what I said? Mm. I said, I'm ready to believe. And then he said, just believe. And believe why? Look at the, after that what he says. For your reward is great in heaven. For then, in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Hmm. I discovered that I am called to be a prophet. And if hmm. I'm called to be a prophet, hmm. I will have to go through this process. And when I'm going through this process, I have to rejoice and be glad. So now what do I do? Now, can I create an atmosphere that I want? Yeah. Uh, so I'll... I put some so I put some beautiful praise and worship, which I like, mm. or a particular passage of uh, teaching that I like. Mm. I put it on, put it in my ears with the earphones and blast it. And now I start dancing like a mad person. Hmm. Okay. Now, what did I do? Hmm. I deliberately, have you ever heard this? That person deliberately comes and hurts me. Have you heard that? Yeah, yeah. Have you heard that? That person yes. is purposely, purposely coming and irritating me. Have you heard that? Yes, yes. In the same way, when you are on the scripture, you deliberately, purposely, willfully do things that God has told you even though your senses are screaming on top of your voice. Mm. That is beautiful. Yeah. When you really start practical. doing that, when mm. you do A, mm. when you do A, you are excited because B is going to come. Mm. And what that B is going to come, you don't know because you don't know what's on the other side of the door. Mm. And on the other side, okay, I'll give you an example. I had finished my retreat in Mangl in Goa, okay, and I have taken my group to Mangalore, mm. a musician and another person. Three mm. of us are planning to go to Mangalore, and it's a retreat for the nuns. Mm. And uh, it, it is during the May holidays. Mm. And, uh, you know, the brother had booked the ticket by bus. Mm. So we just finished, and we are getting into the bus. Mm. So I said, uh, we, are, we are going to Mangalore. Uh, so he said, yes. So he called up the agent and told those three tickets which you have booked, just give us the seat number. My three people are coming and tell me where the bus is and all that. That agent says, I forgot to book the ticket. Mm -hmm. Now, brother, in the month of May, mm -hmm. can you get tickets at the last time? No, no, very difficult. And I have to be there the mm -hmm. next morning for the retreat. Mm -hmm. Now, this brother of mine who was supposed to book the ticket is now really irritated. And I say, it's okay, brother. Even if he did not book the bus ticket, doesn't matter. There's a train that leaves afternoon from Bombay, reaches at 10 o'clock to Goa. If I get into the train, it goes to Kerala or somewhere. Okay. It stops at Mangalore early in the morning at 5 o'clock. If I get into the train, I can still make it to the retreat. Mm. But you don't have reservation. I said, that's the good news of the railway, Indian railway. There's one department that you can go and get into the train that is called as the general department. Mm. You don't read. One thing is that you'll get the ticket 100%. Mm. How you go inside the train is not their lookout. They can give you 100 tickets, I'll give you 100 tickets. But what you do inside is not their lookout. Mm. So I said, I can go inside general ticket. So he said, how will you go? So I said, it's so simple. I'm better than Jesus. 
Hmm. Choice. Yeah. Did you yeah. hear? Yes. I'm better than Jesus. Hmm. So he asked me, how do you say you're better than Jesus? Hmm. Very simple. When Jesus slept in one place and he got up, he was in the same place. Agreed? Yeah. All I have to do is get into the train, stand somewhere and go to sleep. When I get up in the morning, I'm in Mangalore. Am I not in a better place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So I, so I went and told those boys, two, two who were coming with me, music ministry. Mm. I said, we are going by train. They were very happy. But they did not want to go by bus. Yeah. And I said, the good news is that we are going standing. <laughs> yeah. We are going in a general compartment because the reservation is not there. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Now I turned to see their reaction. And I saw them extremely offended and bitter because they are going standing with me. Mm. So I came back and I said, listen, if you are going to do praise and worship with all that bitterness, uh -huh. please don't come. Uh -huh. Do one thing. Tomorrow afternoon, uh -huh. there is a train which starts local, uh -huh. local train from uh -huh. Goa to Mangalore. Seat is guaranteed. Uh -huh. You will come in that uh -huh. and meet me in Mangalore. Uh, First day without praise and worship, no problem. Uh, second day will start, but uh, not with bitterness. Uh, so I put them in the second train. Uh, so I went to Margao mm. at the railway station waiting for the train. Praise God, our Indian railway is always on time, isn't it? <laughs> yes. The train is two hours late. Mm. And you know, at night when you're sitting there, mm. mosquitoes keep you awake. They don't allow you to sleep. And I'm sitting there and there comes an emergency call. This person is desperate and saying, Brother, I want to meet you. Where are you? He's a stranger. Mm. I said, I'm at Madgaon. Mm. He says, I'm very close to Madgaon station. Mm. I said, come. Anyway, two hours are there, no, brother? Mm. Okay? Yeah. Come. So now he comes and he sits and he tells his story. Mm. And I counsel him. 45 minutes are gone. Okay? He's yeah. happy. He got a solution. Now I tell him to go. Now this man is not ready to go. Mm. I'm all alone. Mm. Now brother, we preachers also have got some class. Okay? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now if I'm going to board in a general, <laughs> it will be public brother. My name yeah. will be spoiled. You see? Yeah. So yeah. in my mind I'm saying, God, get him out Lord. <laughs> and, I'm, and he's saying, brother, you're sitting in the wrong place. This is not where you have to sit. Come, I'll show you. So he takes me to the AC side and I go with him, you know, uh, at least now he will go. This man is not ready to go. And I, I think I'll put you in the train and go. And I had no other alternative but to tell him, listen, my friend, I don't have a reservation. I don't have an AC. Uh, I've got this ticket. So let me go back. You go home. Uh, that man started weeping, brother. Uh, he said, you gave a retreat now all these four days in Goa and now you're going standing and next morning you'll be preaching. I, I gave him the same example. Am I not better than Peter, James and John and all the apostles? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, all I have to do is get into the train and stand in one place. Mm. Early morning, I'm in Mangalore. Mm. So he was so broken. He said, brother, can I do one thing? Mm. Can I give you my vehicle Jeep as a gift? And at Goa railway station at night, uh -huh. at 11 o'clock, he gave me a gift of an Armada Jeep. Now, my question to you is, when the agent did not book the ticket, did I get offended? No. No. When the train is coming late, did I get offended? No. All through the journey, did I get offended? No. But had God planned for a Jeep in all this episode? Yes. Praise God. Did I know it? No. Did I discover it? No. I discovered it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When... yeah you discovered after, yeah. So early morning, I reached Mangalore and I called up my brother Alred and I said, God gave us a Jeep. Mm. Now he was very sad because he had not booked the ticket. He had not confirmed the ticket. And I told him, you know what? Mm. God worked it in this way. Mm. And he got a Jeep. So I told him, just go and collect the Jeep, collect the papers, get it transferred. And he did all those things. Mm. Eight months later on, eight mm. months later, he had gone to minister to somebody. Mm. And that somebody 
was talking about how he is ministering to somewhere down south in Tamil Nadu, uh -huh. some orphanage where the children are there and it's very, very poor. And when the child is sick, they don't have a vehicle to take to the hospital. And he was looking out of the window and he just said, sometimes I wonder all these people have got these vehicles here over there. Uh -huh. Can't one of them even think of these orphanages and give them one vehicle because that person, that child or that old age home needs one vehicle at the emergency to take somebody to the hospital and there are no vehicles. Uh -huh. And my brother already removed the keys and gave it to him and said, congratulations, God answered your prayer. And he gifted that Jeep to this brother. Uh -huh. And he called me up that night and said, I've got good news to tell you. I said, what? I gave the gift, I gave the Jeep away. Uh, I said, to whom? Uh, to one person who needed more than us. Uh, I said, did God tell you? Uh, he said, yes. I said, I agree with you in the uh, name of Jesus. Now we will have plenty of vehicles because when you sow, uh, the measure you sow is the measure you receive. Yeah. Did you sow it cheerfully? He said, yes. Congratulations. We yeah. will never have less. Uh, we will never lack in vehicles. And after that, we got blessed and blessed and blessed and blessed. And till now, it's getting blessed. Amen. Amen. So okay. how do you make a vision? You make yeah. a vision through the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Tina wanted to ask a question. Tina, you wanted to ask... Uh, Tina, you're to unmute. You are, you are on mute, Baba. Tina? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yes. Actually, you, I was not able to unmute. It was showing that you had to unmute me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Correct, 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 correct. Yeah. You so, know, uh, he did, he, let me tell you, he did not give you, I gave you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> really? Okay. So, I wanted to tell that yesterday's talk on that canvas was actually very helpful. So, today when we are discussing on this bitterness, I just wanted to share that. Uh, yesterday I had an episode where this bitterness uh, came in and uh, that same thought of bitterness coming again and again you know you try to justify yourself like no I didn't mean like this and all that then this canvas thing struck me and I thought okay I'll paint so then I started painting a canvas about that person you know uh, uh, in the way I wanted him and it was such a uh, you know, uh, what would I say? I don't know whether that pay, per, a person changed or not. I felt so much joy and suddenly so much love. Ah, <laughs> say that again, say that again. Say that again. So much of joy and so much of ah. love towards this person. That you know, it was like, you know, amazing. It was, I don't know, that is such a powerful tool, I must say. But it was really difficult to paint the canvas. But once no, 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 painted... No no, 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 hold on, hold on. Tina, in the beginning, it is difficult because you don't know how to use the tool. Correct, correct. When it becomes your lifestyle, every time somebody comes and insults you and abuses you and all that, you are all excited to use the tool again. And the person who is watching you is saying, what's happened to him? Now, for example, Brother Jose comes and tells you about something that you should worry. Okay? And you refuse to worry and you're smiling the same smile. Now, what will happen? Nothing is there in your head or what? You can't understand what I'm saying. Because if a person doesn't get irritated, the other person will say, he's not even taking responsibility. In this world, if you get worried, you are a good person. You are responsible. But a person who is in faith is all the time laughing, all the time joyful, because he does not take he does not take the burden on his head, because Jesus said, give the burden to me, and he's painting the canvas based on what the word of God says. Brother, so, two, two things I faced. One, I, like I told you, to paint the canvas. You know, how to paint it and what to paint it. Once I painted, uh, I was finding that again Satan is trying to, you know, pull me into that bitter thought. That same episode that happened and pull me back. Then I had to pull the canvas back again. At least three, four times I had to pull the canvas back and then that attack stopped. Then it was like, you know, amazing love you feel for that person. Okay, okay. okay. Now, now, now that you did it, Jos, my friend, yeah. Yeah, we are going to see within this three four days, mm. she is going to come and share something a big breakthrough, which has got locked up for years. 
test. Amen. Amen. See, every time you pass, see, it is like this. Every time you pass the test, yeah. not only you pass the test, but there is always a reward point. Mm. So now the delivery date, it, it's already released from heaven. Now it's <laughs> on the way for delivery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is why you enjoy opposition. Mm. You enjoy persecution. You enjoy anybody coming against you because you are not revengeful now. You are actually trying to help that person with your love. So mm -hmm. now, for example, you release that uh, picture, that canvas, and you said, Holy Spirit, uh, thank you very much. I release this. Now, that seed of love is going and destroying that spirit operating in that person. Mm -hmm. So there are two things that happen. The first thing, you change your life. And secondly, you won that soul for the kingdom. Yes. Excellent example. Jailer and J uh, Paul and Silas in the prison. Now, when the prison doors opened, the chains got opened, everything got opened. Paul and Silas would have said, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have opened the door. Now let me run away from here. But they are not running. The reason they are not running is they are enjoying the presence of God so much that they don't want to leave the presence of God. Mm. Okay. But the jailer wants to kill himself because the law, the Roman law is, if a prisoner escapes, the jailer will be put to death with torture. So he knows that the doors are open, the chains are broken and everything. And all the prisoners were set free, but not one of them left the prison. And the jailer is about to kill himself. Paul is watching from a distance. What if he had to put the dragger inside his stomach and then he would have said, hey, 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 you trouble me? <laughs> I'm still here. But what did Paul shouted? He said, don't kill yourself. We are all here. Nobody has escaped. What happened to the jailer? He's saying, this man should have been revengeful. How can this man be so loving? The next answer is, what should I do to get saved? Paul's seed saved jailer and his family. So every time you're going through unjust suffering, remember, there is somebody's life who is on the line, who is going to be saved because of your response of love. So it's not only about you, it's about a family and generation who's going to be saved because the devil has made his move and when you turn around and show love, the devil flees because Satan has no defense against love. One. Two, the good news is your seed of love has won somebody somewhere in the world. Yes. So every time the devil uses the arrow, you turn around and give love. The arrow doesn't touch you. Now, your love seed is bringing conversion in people's lives. Yeah, so this canvas is absolutely awesome tool. I think so, all of so, us should try it. So, so let's say a wife has got a husband who is drunkard. Can she paint a new canvas? She must. No, no. Can, is it possible? No, no, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's very difficult initially. I must. Hello, 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 hello. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. If a person understands this works, is it difficult? No. Now, which one is which one is difficult? For the last 15 years, you have been hammered and nothing changes. Whereas you got this tool and says, just do this and give the Holy Spirit the language of faith and the Holy Spirit will do the job. I have some of them who are 45 years married and the husband has been drinking for 45 years. And the lady came to know about the seed faith. So every time she saw the husband drinking, she would start smiling because she started saying, Jesus, you turn water into wine and wine into blood. And you said, the very thing you did, I can do it. So I thank you, Lord. My husband is not drinking alcohol. He's drinking uh, your precious blood. In fact, she would sit with him and bring chakna for him. And the husband is wondering, why is my wife not getting offended? And she started loving him and she believed that he's drinking the blood of Jesus. Physical evidence says he's drinking alcohol. Now, when she believed and she changed the canvas, within a week, the husband stopped drinking and he came to the Lord 
and started hearing the word of God, a complete conversion. Now, why did it take so many years? Because a canvas was, my husband is a drunkard. Unless you change your canvas, Holy Spirit cannot work for you. Yeah, that part I understood yesterday, actually. Jane, 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 are you there? Jane from Malaysia? Just give me five minutes, brother. Have we got time? Yeah. I don't need to beg you. I got my time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Jane is there. Yeah. Jane, 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 Jane. Hello, Jane. Can you hear me? Jane, you are, uh, she, she's already. Yeah, she has unmuted. She has unmuted. Yeah. yeah. Jane, can you hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Tina, till, till, till she comes back, okay? Write on this, this, this one line. Anything that keeps my attention, anything that keeps my attention has become my master. Anything that keeps my attention mm. has become my master. Now, Tina, according to what you are saying, the old canvas, wasn't the old canvas your master? Okay. Yeah, yes, old canvas, yes, it was my master. Because I was looking at the problem and all that, and it was a not, not a good So canvas. it caught your attention, it caught your attention, yeah. right? Now, when that, that became your master, did it help you in any way in your life? No. It only destroyed you? Yeah, making you feel weak. Now, okay. Now when you heard about the canvas, you decided to pay attention to the new canvas. Yes. Now, who became your master? The new canvas. Exactly. Exactly. So in a battle, you choose who are you, whom you want to be your master. So if you paint the new canvas according to what Jesus said, then is Jesus your master or the demons your master? Jesus. So in James 3, what we learn, when you are offended, bitter, jealousy and all those things, even though you go to church, even though you sing the best of the best team, you do everything, but you get caught up with this area. Even though you did all that, you are still not connected to God. The demons are connected to you. They rule over your life. Yeah. And I used to wonder why does this happen? You know, you, you want to get a grip on your life. You're not able to, you know, every time this emotion thing, somebody triggers you or some, it may be a word or a situation that slips you back to not a good state and you don't want to be there. Okay. Write down. If that is so, write down this. My life is whatever. My life are not my wife. My life, my life is whatever I choose to remember. Now, you heard the teaching. Did you choose to remember what you were taught? Yes. Yes. Now, which one would be easy? Let's say you are 25 years old. Let's say. I hope I did not increase your age. <laughs> okay. Let's say you are 25 years 25 years of experience and practice on one side and 24 hours new thing that you have learned. Which one is easy to practice? The new thing. No, no. 25 years is a habit. Experience, yeah. Uh, correct. Uh, correct. Correct. But now... Habit, yes. saying, habit, comes, <laughs> habit comes if I'm not conscious. If I okay, don't, now. when I get into a problem... If I, I make a decision that I have to be by Jesus, I have to make that conscious okay, effort. Okay, okay. Now in 25 years, you did not change. Okay. No. Now when you heard about the canvas, you chose to remember and say, I was taught today this. Let me put it into practice. And you started putting into practice. Did that make a change in your, in your attitude? Yes. Now, does yes. your attitude decide your altitude? Yes, very much. So, all these 25 years, your attitude was good or bad? 
attitude was wrong 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 okay wrong wrong so the wrong attitude does it mean that god's plan will come to pass no demon's plan will come to pass very easily without very even easy. knowing without even knowing so, so so now you are a christian you are very prayerful your attitude is wrong where are you on your journey to god's destination or devil's destination devil's destination definitely so so when you are on devil's destination is pain going to increase or decrease increase increase and confusion increase and confusion that's exactly what james said now how do you turn that pain and confusion into reward by uh, god's word practicing i'll give you, i'll, give, I'll give you an answer i'll give you an answer are you willing to write yes okay write down the reward of pain is the willingness to change dina yes brother you know to make coffee with your own hands yes have you ever made one i generally make tea but yes okay tea let's take tea do you know yes. to make tea yes what if you were putting salt for 25 years and one day you went to jessie's house and you had tea and it tasted so good because it was sugar mm. so 25 years you had bitter tea and jessie gave you the same cup of tea with little sugar and you said how come you which tea you use and she showed you the brand and said i'm using the same brand but how come my tea is bitter it is salty so jessie demonstrates and shows you to put sugar now when you see the white powder you are saying even i put the white powder but is there a looking into the powder they look same but do you taste it is different yes so now she packs up a little box of sugar and tells you when you go home put this powder stop putting your powder okay now you go home and you do exactly what she said and you put that sugar the way she said now will your tea taste like jessie's tea yes why did it change because of that ingredient which was wrong was corrected exactly so when you are in pain what is pain saying there is a correction that has to be made and the moment you made that correction your pain will turn into reward yes thank you brother so basically that revelation of the truth or knowledge is more important that is what But is missing are you willing to change now, now are you willing to change yes yes see the the main thing is when i come for a bible study like this okay in a bible study god gives you the truth and shows you your mistakes now when a person understood the mistake and is not ready to make the change can that mistake lead that person into a complete self destruction yes yeah so will prayer protect you from the destruction no 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 yeah brother jain is there jain is there we jain that is another jain yeah. this is the jain i was talking was sorry, from malaysia yeah, no no the same ah, yeah 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 sorry oh, sorry, sorry papa because i i came from the ipad the ipad you can't speak So I had to run and get it onto the handphone. Sorry, Papa. Next time I'll just come okay, from the okay, handphone. Okay, 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 okay. Now tell me the condition that I met you on Zoom. Elijah and Elisha, you are both yeah. uh, Elijah Isaiah. and Ezra. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. Now both your sons were in what condition? Now listen to this, Jose. This will help all the parents and how she fought the battle. Listen to this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it was for for a long time, mm, uh, especially Elijah. Not so much Ezra. Uh, he gets into this uh, when he loses his temper. He goes into an amok state. Uh, he he can't even help himself. And then when that when that happens, I also get very angry. I'm also in anger and frustration, and so is mom. 
we are the two important adults in his life. He's far, you know, the dad is far away. So uh, it was so difficult for me, Papa. It caused me a lot of pain and uh, um, ended up in the ER for all the accumulation of stress. And uh, when I came to know JCLM was for this heart condition when I met Sister Jocelyn and I was healed the, the, on the way itself. So I was so happy that I found Sister Jocelyn. And the next thing was for Elijah. So mom and I were like, you know, very, very uh, diligent and we don't miss any of the teachings, especially me from morning till night. And then there was one time, Papa Johnson was, uh, did give me some prayer words to speak. And uh, he would get very violent, you know, uh, uh, he could, taking he things could to take hit. A racket, throw, brother, he could take a racket, he could take a bas baseball bat and just swing it, hitting anybody. He is on a on a trip which is uncontrollable. Yeah. So he's not going to see whether it's a mom or anybody. He can use a bat and just hit with all his force. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. Go ahead, Jane. Otherwise, he's un unbelievably loving and caring. Uh, strangers and outsiders will come and tell me this. But when he goes in that mood and he goes on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and my husband will tell me, you know, you must be showing love. You had to be patient. That part for me was so, so incredibly difficult. And um, so at one time, every time it, the, the episode happens, I, there's no Zoom going on at the time. The timing is off. Papa's not there. There's one time about 10.30. Uh, the Zoom was still going on. And he was in that, in that state. And mom and I were praying uh, uh, what Papa Johnson taught us. And it was not making any difference. It just gotten worse. And then I decided to make the connection on the Zoom to get him on, but not show him because he's still a child and all that. They didn't have children ministry and all that at the time. And then uh, Papa came on. Papa came and just said a, a few seconds of just prayers. He didn't even complete finish yet. Immediately, and I just stopped. Immediately. You know, and... Uh, of course, I was so grateful and all that. And, and the Zoom session ended soon. And then after, I, I messaged Papa, like, you know, how come, you know, uh, Mom and I did the same prayer. How come it didn't work? And uh, he gave a very, very simple answer. Because we were saying it in frustration. Mom and I were so frustrated. There is no rest. There is no peace. There is no complete faith in what we were uttering. So it was futile. It didn't bear any fruit. And uh, it, it, not a very long period. In a very short period, because I'm always listening, listening, and I put it in a speaker all the time. I always call and him, listen, listen. I told the mom, don't call him with what you see. Call him with what you want to see. And I, I, I never call him Elijah. I say, Prophet Elijah. Prophet yes, Elijah. Yes, Papa. Him and when I, when I send them, I send them all audio message, I say, one day you are going to be with me, son, and we are going to preach together, okay? <laughs> And when I sent that message, that seed got planted, brother. That seed got planted so deep that they got hooked up on the word day and night to study the word. And now they are completely changed. That made them so happy. They were played again and again. They were so excited. I, I, never, I, never, told, I never told them what they were doing. Not even once. I only said, you both are prophets of God, full of love. You are man of God and all this. And it was totally a seed of faith. Mm. At that time, they were, they were still tripping. Mm. Mm. But now, yes. they are completely different children. Now, they will tell mom, the word of God says this. <laughs> yes. Because mom can forget. Mom can forget. Children will not forget. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And the reason I told you, uh, I called Jane is because there are so many moms who are going through frustration. Because okay. their children, now, now Elijah and Ezra are small. Okay, but some of them have grown up 20, 25, 30, 35. And you are saying, can this happen now? Yes, it is. Because the system is the same. Okay. Like Tina came up and said, paint the canvas. Come on, paint the canvas. Mm. Call your children what you want them to be. Mm. Don't call them what they are. Mm. 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Okay, last last Praise line. Last God. line. Tina, this is for you. Last line, Tina. My success is decided by what I am willing to ignore. Now, Jane had to ignore the swinging of the bat. She had to ignore that the children were not ready to go to school. They were not going to school. Oh. They, they, they both were ruling over at home. Oh. And I, I, how old is uh, Elijah? At that time, they were eight and nine. Eight and nine. Can you believe eight mm. and nine year old children ruling at home? And, and nobody can open their mouth. They get into, and both of them coming together. You see? So your success in life is decided by what you are willing to ignore. What you ignore will die because you're not watering it. Mm. And replace it with what you want to see. Mm. So the painting of the canvas is so important that when you paint it, it has to be according to the word. Holy Spirit can understand the language if it is according to the word. Holy Spirit cannot understand the language when it is your bitterness and hurt and all that. He Amen. will not work. He will not work. Your faith is that you use your imagination, you use your visions, you use your dreams, paint it, write it down and say, Lord, this is what it is. So now I'm giving you the job. Holy Spirit, you are my helper. You are my comforter. You are my guide. So go ahead, Holy Spirit, and convert this. And I am excited to receive my miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, Jos, uh, I want to ask you, one person or two person asked a question. Yeah. Did it help the whole congregation? Of course, of course. Yes. And that's why I want participants to come and share something. Yeah. That's when the Holy Spirit will begin to give us more understanding. Amen. Tina, we are really, really thankful to you for coming and sharing. Now, I'll tell you, so many mamas will be saying, thank God that she came and shared. It has helped all of us. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. before we close, uh, just wanted to remind everyone about the about the program evening. Tomorrow evening is a it's an evening for of praise and worship and healing. Are you going to put the lights, brother? <laughs> yeah, lights are already. You know what, what, brother? Last Sunday, last Monday, yeah. Last Sunday evening we had the worship. Monday morning, a friend sent me a mail in my WhatsApp message in my WhatsApp and said there was a mail in my apartment saying that people in people my apartment number saying that. Please have your worship uh, inside your house. <laughs> Don't make any no noise and disturb the neighbor. So I have to be a little careful. But, uh, you know, that is the situation. So somebody has been touched uh, by the praise and worship and healing. So let us uh, continue to pray. And that Lord is Lord will do miracle change of hearts. That is what... Oh, both okay. Can we paint the canvas? Yeah. Can, can we paint the canvas? Yeah. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus... Whosoever is getting disturbed, it is never our intention to disturb these people, O Lord. Yes, O Lord. O Spirit of God, touch that person, that that person will experience your healing power as this praise and worship is going on at home. And every member of the family yes, o Lord. is going to experience your presence that is going to bring transformation in each one's life. I thank you and I praise you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that all that we experience today is your awesome presence, your awesome truths. And Father, I thank you that you have touched each and every person with your glorious love. Thank you, Father, that each one of us are learning to paint new canvas in every area of our life. And that email is an opportunity, Lord, that we have received to paint the canvas of love in the lives of those people 
who have been not able to understand. Only you, O Holy Spirit, can do these wonders in their life. And we thank you and we praise you that you are turning this opportunity into a glorious, glorious victory, a glorious testimony. And we thank you, we praise you, Lord. Every day this Bible class is, is full of, full of wisdom coming from heaven. Thank you and praise you, Lord, for giving us practical applications that we can practice and come back with the head of Goliath and conversion of souls in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the team. Thank you for the participants. Thank you for bringing new, new members tomorrow for the healing session. Father, we declare your glory upon their life. We declare your word going forth and healing these people. We not only pray for the physical healing, Lord. We pray that this physical healing will lead them into spiritual healing as well. That their lives and their relationship with you will become so intimate like the relationship between the spouse. Yes, Father. I thank you and I praise you, Jesus. You are the bridegroom. We are the bride, Lord. And we all long every moment to be with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us, for strengthening us and teaching us these powerful truths in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you, everyone, for wonderful participation. Though, in case if you're not getting my message, please note down my number. It's there on the uh, screen. I will keep you in my mailing list. I will also send you the invite for you to share it with your friends and family. Please pass on the message and uh, invite them. One, one line? Yeah, brother. Yeah. Father, in a very special way, we thank you that our precious brother who has been listening this precious message has become pregnant with this word and we see him tonight in your glory in your presence, in your healing, in your deliverance. And his life is completely changed. We love you, Father. And we love our precious brother who stayed all this one and a half hour listening to your word. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father, for making such a beautiful impact in his life that cannot be erased by any demonic force in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Love you, Father, brother. <laughs> I was so in Father Jews. I'm so used to. Love you, brother Jews. <laughs> Love you, brother. Love you. Okay. See you all. Love you, brothers. everybody. Yeah. See you all, brothers and Love sisters. You, brother. We will uh, meet tomorrow. God bless you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.